morning, true family. Hey, all my trues. Hey, you guys. I need you guys to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I am not a secret. We are rambling and rolling into work. Yes, y'all. I haven't even had a sip of coffee yet. I am late. I am. I'm late. But I did remember to take my vitamin D. Yay! Oh, that's good. Y'all did good this morning with the coffee. Um, I didn't get to do my my OOTD of the day. This is actually a little um, mid-length dress, you guys. It goes to my knees. I have on some brown leather sandals with it. Very comfortable. Didn't need iron, and I was I woke up late. I don't know what the problem is, um, but I did wake up late. Probably because I was up last night cleaning and, you know, washing and everything. Um, let's start off with my favorite positive affirmation. Think positive and positive things will happen. That has been working for me, y'all. I'm, like, really stepping out of my comfort zone um, with, with many things in life. If you guys didn't know, prior to me starting my channel... I'm really a homebody. I prefer to be at home, relaxed in my own environment, and around my family. Um, but because I am so motivated these days to get you guys some good content, I have been out and about busy body me. Yes, and I'm loving it because it's, um, it's good to get up and move around. Um, if you guys caught my live on yesterday, um, I came in uh, uh, on the live yesterday just to say good morning to the true family, you know, chop it up a little bit with everybody, see how your Sundays was going, and see what y'all was cooking for dinner, because I'm coming through. I am coming through, through this camera. I want a plate. Set me a plate. <laughs> um, yeah, so within that live y'all we had one of our true family members who is going through a domestic violence situation so if you haven't seen the the, the um <clears throat> live i did leave it up let me get a sip y'all i'm still trying to get my mind right it is good oh oh true Um, yeah, so I think we had about 39 people in that live, and um, we had a true family member come through who is suffering, going through domestic violence, and it just touched my heart, so I don't know if you guys know what an empath is, if you don't know what an empath is, look it up, um, I can just, I can tell you really quickly, really simply, um, empaths are very emotional people, very, um, we pick up on your emotions. We, we we feel like we feel what you're feeling. And it's it's a, actually a heavy burden to bear. Um, our intuitions are usually on point, you know. Um, but being a empath is very... It, it is a burden to bear because you can be in the greatest of moods and... Like I was yesterday when I got on the live. I was so hyped, y'all. I was ready to talk to the true family. And when I heard or when I was conversating, when we were all conversating, having a conversation with our true family member, um, it just touched me deep to my core, had me in tears. And it still does. I, feel, I still feel that emotion running through me. I did try to meditate afterwards to get that energy off of me. Um... I have my rose quartz with me today and my my um my rose quartz and my amethyst y'all can look it up and see what those stones mean I didn't want to dwell on that this morning but yeah um it was really difficult for me when I got off of that live I was so worried about that person um we all a lot of us did email her you know to see what her course of action was so um we're still in communication with her um i actually checked she did email me back this morning and said that she was on she was getting her kids up for uh to go to work and drop them off at day camp and all of that so my prayer
prayers are with you. I did pray for you. Now it's time for me to get that energy off of me. Because uh, as soon as I started talking about it, it came back, you know. So I'm going to have to do something about that real quick. I got to shake it off when the loving ain't the same. All right, y'all. So my um, first five YouTube, uh, my first five true family members, too, actually uh comment on friday's vlog because i don't think i actually did a vlog i did a live this weekend um i did have not posted my content y'all from the lake house oh my god it was so beautiful i did leave a picture of the serene uh lake and the in boats and everything on the community page so if you want to check that out I also left a picture of my sister and I there. You guys were shocked like, are you twins? If you want to see um, one of my siblings, I only have one sister, my baby sister. We're 10 years apart. We're freaking almost identical, but the identical, but the crazy thing, crazy thing is, yes, we're 10 years apart, but one of us looks like mom and one of us looks like dad. So we look a lot alike. I'm the older, sibling, older sister. Um... Um, I so we went to the lake house it was really it felt really good to get out of my comfort zone and get out and go do things um, my family was here from out of town and it was a beautiful atmosphere y'all the homes are so gorgeous over there they're huge well made um, people are enjoying their lives by <laughs> At, the, at these lake house over there all surrounded by the lake it was music playing at several houses by the lake and it was nice to get around family I saw um, family members that I hadn't seen since I was a baby and they didn't even realize who I was until you know they looked at me a little bit good that's Larry Howard daughter <laughs> you know how southern people are yeah, I saw so many people. It felt good, y'all. So it felt good to get out. It did. It did. And I have been getting out over these last couple of weekends. I was really fearful that it would set me back again with my fibromyalgia. But another reason why I'm having flares, you guys, is because I'm not eating like I'm supposed to. That has a lot to go. That has a lot to do with your fibromyalgia when you don't eat correctly. It can any sugar or something like that can trigger can trigger a flare it's like almost you you can't eat <laughs> it, it's so many things out there were tr that will trigger um a fibro flare but yeah this weekend was pretty good this was the first weekend first saturday in a long time that i got out without any of my kids and y'all talking about baby true was blowing my phone up she was like, when are you coming home? Because I was gone all day until about 11 p.m. That's late for me, y'all. I'm getting old. So, Saturday was a wonderful day. I, and like I was saying, you guys, I need you guys to go out there and just pray for our true family member that's going through the domestic violence. I pray that she gets her strength and her courage to follow through. Follow through. She had a horrible morning yesterday, y'all. Go look at that live. I don't really want to talk about it right now because, like I said, it's, it's messing with my energy. But go check it out. Go check it out. And just put it, put put a few words in the air for. Um, so the, the first five true family members, I want to say good morning to you guys for, you know, waking up early and putting in them comments. I have uh, Latrice Black. Good morning, beautiful Mama Moya. I love you, Mama Moya. Yes, she was she was one of the first five. Oh, Mama Moya, y'all. She hit 600 subscribers last night on the live. Yes, keep it coming. Go show some love. Let's get her to 8,000. Um, Nirvana 30. Hey, boom. Michelle Nelson. Thanks for, you know, having that notification bell on for, for your truth. Um, Deanna Owens, y'all know that's my bestie boo, my, my, my sister through the web. <laughs> that's a story that we're going to have to talk about, y'all. Deanna Owens and I have so much in common. We actually became very close through my channel. You never know. You never know, um, 
how your life changes when you start opening up and sharing sharing is caring is what they say right so um content creator youtube channels that i caught yesterday and this morning i always watch um francois vlogs i watched her this morning loving the braids boo yes and um so i call her this morning and I'm gonna have to start programming my videos also to post in the morning, friend. That's a good idea. Because what I do, y'all, is I record in the car, get to work, and I upload. And that can take 30 to 45 minutes sometime. So today I chose to um, just record straight on the YouTube app. So it won't have my introduction in there, and that's totally okay. I'm cool with that. Um, I caught, so I don't know if y'all caught that live, Nisi World's live, y'all, on um Friday night. Nisi Boo, you was popping Friday night, you and Charles. <laughs> that that live was off the chain. It really was. Um, and I did catch a bit of Liv's life yesterday, last night. Um, she was on a live and she was talking about the live from Nisi Worlds um, Friday. Um, and if I, I don't know if I, I, I don't, I mean, I, I, I love Nisi and I also like Liv's life on certain occasions, you know. But, and I straddle the fence on them, you know what I'm saying? Because I, 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 like, I, I like both channels. I just always have. I mean, Nisi came out and immediately I was drawn to her channel and Liv was um, I've been off and on with Liv's life channel um, because of the roller coaster of that life but when she's doing great I love when she's in a great mood and when she's um, focused on her her life um, and changes and all of that I love watching her channel but when it starts to sway, then I sway. You know what I'm saying? So I straddle the fence. That's my. That's what I do. Um, so I did catch that. Um, I don't know if they are both still up. You can go check and take a look for those lives. Um, I only watched a little bit of Liv's live because I was trying to go to sleep, y'all. So check them both out. Who else did I catch yesterday? I did a video this morning about a uh, racial profiling incident in Ontario, Canada. Um, that's where my, my dad was born in Canada. And um, I don't know what I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going through a phase where I'm trying to come up with new content, you guys. So just roll with me. Um, I don't want to do what everybody is doing, you know. I do love my morning vlogs, um, but I want to add something into the mix. Um, I don't want to tell y'all what it is because I don't want nobody to duplicate what I'm getting ready to do, you know? So hang in there, stick with me. And y'all know that number? Y'all doing the damn thing, my true family. Yes, I love my trues. Um, I have a no tolerance for uh, bullies on my channel. I have been... I have been straddling whether I want to let the bullies stay in my comments and let my true family members handle them or just take the negativity out. So on a few occasions, I will leave one up if, if, as long as they're not being, you know, vulgarly disrespectful. But for you ones that have lost your freaking mind, you're you're putting in a bank for I'm putting you in 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 a separate place separate place for content, and I will be blocking you my life my story you know you like it if you don't like it thanks for the view um i also y'all i did catch nia e last night and i guess she's going through this issue with um actually i caught it on blah my eats channel first and then nia e came up after with the brother from um strong mommy chrissy i guess he's had a he's made a few videos about Nia E coming at her about that video um that she posted in one of her videos about how he went off on strong mommy Chrissy like over a year ago 
So I guess he feels some type of way about that, y'all, and he coming at her. So go check it out. Go, you can check out Nia E and see what that's about. I haven't searched for the video. I don't have that kind of time, but I'm I might look for it. I don't know. But yes, you guys, um, it is a beautiful day in my neighborhood. I hope it's a beautiful day in yours. It's about 88 degrees so far. I got the air going because a sister girl probably I think I might be pre-menopausal because this these yesterday I was so nauseous from heat y'all I might be a little dehydrated so I've been turning up them bottles of water for the last day and a half um I'm focused today on my diet I will take it one day at a time um I started off that day with a bottle of water I got my cup this will be the only cup of coffee and it's not full I can only drink a half a cup of coffee you guys took my vitamin D I um I will be having two boiled eggs for breakfast and a little bit of watermelon I have a salad with some uh turkey meat and that's it no cheese no no whole bunch of stuff just a, a salad with some turkey meat on it lettuce with turkey meat on it and I have a, maybe a teaspoon or a tablespoon of some sort of dressing um, it was a quick, fast, hurry thing this morning, but tonight I think I'm gonna throw some chicken on the grill um, to last me for the rest of the week. I I probably will take you guys on a walk this this evening. It depends on how it is, y'all, because I'm telling you this heat makes me nauseous, and it has been hot. I'm trying to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Let's. Um, I have a new affirmation of for today but y'all know i'm sticking to the one that i love um i am a doer i will take action and get things accomplished that is the affirmation for today you guys i am a doer i will take action and get things accomplished do not procrastinate don't procrastinate i gotta be i gotta say y'all i am a procrastinator but i am getting better and i can tell um yeah, you gotta, we gotta get focused and we gotta stick to it. Like I say, you guys, I, I've been up late at night um, thinking of new content. The video that I did this morning was actually a uh, baby's true idea for me to react to, you know, those uh, news events. But she wants me to react to public freakouts. So <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Also, keep in mind. My laptop is out of order and my desktop is out of order. So I'm using my camera and my phone so you guys can see that until daddy bought me a new laptop, which is coming soon. Um, and that's all I wanted to say to my true family. I hope you guys, um, to the world, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Don't forget to think positive and positive things will happen. Um, don't let nobody steal your shine. Shake off their negative energy and you keep it pushing. <sighs> I need you guys to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm not a secret at all. Tell mama, daddy, sister, brother, auntie, uncle to come by here and see Miss True Red Bone. And don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. I love my true family. You guys keep on supporting us. Um, keep on showing the love because you definitely show me love. I, I got to say that for sure. And have an amazing day, you guys. Have a good evening. Good day. Peace.